In recent years, the fear of earthquakes has been on the rise. In Nepal, on April 25th, a magnitude 7.8 earthquake shook the mountaintop country. The Nepal earthquake has devastated this small mountain country. Over 5,000 people have already been found dead in the search, and the number keeps getting higher every day. So how does this affect people here in LA? Well, there are thousands of Nepalese people living here in the city. We asked one woman how it affected her and her family back home in Nepal. In Nepal, my mother, she felt that it could be around 12 in noon, and she was resting, and the bed shook and it threw out of the bed. And the first thing she thought is the statue of Ganesh was falling, so she was trying to hold that. And my brother came rushing in and said, Mom, let's get out. If things get worse in Nepal, my mother will probably go back to where she was born in India. Sadly, the U.S. only proposed $1 million in relief funds for the country of Nepal. Everybody contributes a penny or so. It just needs a penny. If every person here contributes a penny, that's more than enough. You know, just a little something. Anything, a penny, a dime. Even if you go for a Starbucks, any coffee place, you know, people, people put a dime to in the, uh, what do you call it, the tip box. People will have enough, but nobody wants to give that. I asked around to see if people wanted to help yeah, it's supposed to and how much they have heard about the Nepal earthquake. Uh, I could definitely use a lot more publicity from the article I read, but um, I guess we'll find out what happens. Help Nepal by giving aid to timeless symbols on 7th and Broadway in Santa Monica, or donate to one of these great NGOs. Many people don't realize the problems Nepal faces in the future, but thankfully, this fire department here in LA has sent a dispatch of firefighters to go help with the search and rescue effort. Nepal has a long way to go, but with your help, it can be saved. For more information on the Nepal earthquake, visit our website. I'm Travis Larson for the Academy of Art, K-Art News.